Hi everyone, this is Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life. I'm coming to you today to bring you a quick tip on organizing your tags. So stay with me. Hi everybody, just wanted to drop in for a quick tip. I was going through and adding some things to my brain dump list today and I was taking a look at all of the tags that I have been using throughout the month of October. If you would like to see the complete video on how I set up my tags and how I use them in my GTD or getting things done method by David Allen, I will link that video up above and in the description so you can check it out. But for today, I just want to give you a quick tip on how to organize your tags. Now, if I go up here to my tags menu and I drop down the drop down menu, all the way at the bottom you see it says customize tags. When I click on that, it's going to bring up a dialog box that has all of my tags listed in it. I can make that tag box longer so that I can see more of the tags that I have. Now, if you'll notice here at the top, I have lots of tags that are check boxes in various colors with various colored text. And I also have a lot of the standard tags that comes with OneNote. I refer to those as more reference kinds of things. Information about a contact or a phone number, ideas that I might have, those kinds of things. What I want to do today is I want to organize my check boxes at the top and my reference items in the middle. So let me show you how to do that. If you look up here at the very top tag that I have, it says meeting notes, meeting notes here, and it has just an icon of a piece of paper. That is a reference item for me if I have a meeting note that I need to refer to. It's not something that I need to do or accomplish. So that's more of a reference item. I would like to move that down with some of my other reference items. So the first step is to highlight that tag. So there we go, it's highlighted. Now if I come out here to the side, there are two arrow buttons. One says move tag up, one says move tag down. If I click the move tag down, you see it drops it to the next level and I can keep moving it down until I get it with some of my other reference items. So there it is on top of my contact. I think that's a good place for it. Now right above that, I see my budget task, which is an action item uh, for when I'm doing budget related things. And I would like to move him up. So I've highlighted budget task and I'm going to click the move up button and I'm going to put that up here above waiting on. I like action item in the very top position because I use that one a lot. Things to do at my computer, I use a lot as well. So I would like to move that up as well. So now it is number two. To buy is good at number three, but I'd like to move Aaron up next to to buy because those two things usually go hand in hand. Also, I'd like to move up card and email. And my general to do button. Now if I scroll down, you can see that I have a bunch of reference items here, but I do have a reference item that says at planner. Well, I've changed that one to make it a checkbox now, so I no longer need this at planner tag. So I'm going to highlight that and come over here to the X, which says remove and I'm going to click the remove button and you see that that has now disappeared. Oh, here's one more action item that I'd like to move up. Something to research and so on and so on and so on. There are a couple more uh, to do things down here at the bottom that I'm going to move up. I'll speed this up so you can see that.
Okay, now if I take a look at my whole list, I have action items, things to do at my computer, garden tasks, general to-dos, calls or texts that I need to send, cards or emails that I need to send out, things to buy and errands are linked together, things to research, budget tasks, things that I'm waiting on, my someday maybe list, one-to-one -one items to discuss with my husband and my daughter, and then I get into my reference items. So important things, things to remember for later. Like I said, a lot of these reference items came with OneNote when I got it. So I'm going to leave those there for now. You see down here at the bottom, I have some more like bullet journal kind of things, movies to see, books to read, things to listen to. All of that sounds great to me. I'm going to leave that just the way it is. All right, so when I'm finished organizing and I have my list the way that I want it, I can simply come down here and click OK. And now when I pull down my drop down list from the top, you see that all of my check boxes are organized right here together and then all of my reference items are right here in the middle and then my list items are down here at the end. Now you do see at the very bottom that I have a few more check boxes of things that I have created and played around with, but I'm not really using those at the moment, so I'm going to leave those down here and perhaps I'll modify them for some use in the future, but for now I don't really need those. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. I just wanted to share with you this quick tip on how to reorganize your tags list. I hope it's been helpful and I hope that it helps you get things done. Until next time, this is Crystal signing off. Okay, bye.